Right, I'm going to show you now how to assemble the Arduino and the base plate and the breadboard. Um, the Arduino processor itself is in this box here. Um, they're not fantastically electrosensitive um, and they're fairly robust. So that's, that's the actual device itself. Um, there's a processor here, there's various headers along here which hold the pins which you're going to use to connect to external devices and there's a USB port here and a power socket here. Um, it will power itself off the USB port but there's also an adapter for a, for a battery which allows you to battery power it. So that's the processor itself. What you've also got in the ARDX kits is a piece of breadboard, a small piece of breadboard there for sticking electronic components into and if I can wedge it out Being a bit tough, this one. Okay, you've got a sheet of perspex there, um, which is at the moment covered with a piece of white sheet. So the first thing to do is just to rip the white sheet off. Put that somewhere safe. Um, and as you can see there, it's marked uh, with where the Arduino goes, where the breadboard goes, um, and there are various holes in it. Um, so the first thing to do then is stick the breadboard in. Um, along one side of the breadboard are these little nobbles um, which are intended for linking this piece of breadboard to another piece of breadboard. There's, there's similar sockets along this edge. Um, I took a pair of pliers and just, just snipped these off. Um, when you're assembling it onto the plate uh, it's best if those little knobs actually stick towards the processor because otherwise you're going to have difficulty getting it back into the box again. Um, there's a sticky pad on the underneath. Let's see if my fingernails are long enough. Yep, so you just take the yellow pad off there. I've got the smooth edge here going up against this edge of the perspex. Put it so that the breadboard is flush with the perspex. and it sticks pretty firmly pretty quickly. So there you are, there's my bit of breadboard. So the only other thing that needs to go on the plate is the Arduino there. Um, and it goes like so. So the, um, the USB port and the power are on one side. There's a little uh, logo here of Umlaut, which is the company that we bought these things from. And there are four mounting holes, one, two, three, four uh, which correspond to holes in the plate. Inside the kit you have, should have, at least four of these little plastic rivets um, which have an inside bit and an outside bit. Uh, they may not be assembled, here's, a, here's an outside bit and let's see if I can find the corresponding inside. Yep, there we go. So these just go in together like that. Um, don't push them in all the way yet. What you also have in there are some tiny little plastic spacers. These are just, I'll, I'll put this down so you can see it maybe a little bit better. Um, these are just little, little semi-transparent plastic tubes. So you're going to need four of each Right, there are the bits. So what you've got to do with these then, uh, and this is, this is slightly tricky, is you put the rivets through the four mounting holes, and you see I'm holding them in place with my fingers on the other side there, and pop a spacer on top of each one. Um, I've got a third one there, which I'm just going to pop in like that. I'm having to do a bit of contortion here to keep it all in place. So I've got these three here. You'll notice this uh, hole here is actually a slot and, and that's useful later on. So what I can do now, I've got these three, I'm holding them in place with my fingers underneath the board and I can just pop it on top, hopefully like that. And at this stage, if I pop it over, holding it all in place, if I now press the two parts of the rivet together quite firmly, done it, not quite, okay, they should snap into position, 
Okay. What's happened here, and it's probably not quite so obvious from the video, is that the two parts of the rivet have come together and the rivet has then splayed out so it's holding it quite firm in this position and um, you know really you could get away with three. Um, I'm going to put the fourth one in. Because there's a slot here what I can do with this fourth one um, is just pop the spacer on top of the rivet like that, put it into position, let's put it somewhere where you can see it, put it into position by the slot there just slide it through, slide it up through there, whoops, and pop, and that's it. So the board is now quite firmly held, it doesn't, it doesn't rock, it doesn't move, it's quite firmly held on the base plate. The only other thing to do now is that because your nice flat base plate has been disrupted by these four rivets, um, there's also a sheet with four transparent feet on it which I'm going to stick at each of the four corners of the base plate. So again these are self-adhesive, just give them a bit of a squeeze to make them fit. Um, don't put it over the hole necessarily, uh, as long as there are four on there and roughly the corners um, it will be stable enough. Okay, so there we are, there's my assembled unit now. So that's the uh, the Arduino, the breadboard and the base plate. Um, all solid, solid all, all quite stable. And since this side's flush and I haven't got these bits sticking out, what I should be able to do now is get the box that it all came in and just drop it in there and it fits in the box and I can shut the lid. So. That's the first thing you need to do.